Okay. I know Sky Each has one, but we're going to have to go back like a couple of days ago to the day, the highlights before the finale, before we go into the finale. And this is going to be a long ass video. So let's go to the press conference video. Let's go to the press conference episode, which was before the final. Housemates wake up as finalists. John is all like, I don't care. Tiffany's in the diary room saying that John had that saying that John ha thinks that he has everyone where, where he wants them. John is competition to her. She isn't surprised if she, John sees himself winning, but she doesn't see him winning at all because she sees herself winning at this point. The anticipation around the house for the final is very tense and everybody in the house is on edge. Big Brother calls Stephanie and Scotty T for their secret mission to be the center of attention in the house, i.e. attention whore. Sky T was trying to get attention by being like the being his Jordy's by being his Jordy Shore self. And Stephanie was doing was trying to get attention the same way that she was like throwing tantrums and like throwing shit. To the point where she opens a jug of milk and throws it across the kitchen and creating a mess. Now the housemates want to clean it up because Stephanie because it was Stephanie's mess. Housemates are done with Stephanie. And Steph and Stephanie's like, nobody's gonna beat me. <laughs> Nobody in the house knows yet why no that that it was a task and stuff like that. Sky T puts on a pair of one of a pair of of Stephanie's underwears on. John just can't even because like can't even in a negative way. He can't stand what's going on because he thought, ugh. Like, Stephanie's being Stephanie. I can't stand, take it anymore. Stephanie does clean up the milk mess. Of course, when you, like, throw milk on the floor and you just let it sit there, it just smells like crap. And then, um, Tiffany and Danielle also talk about Stephanie, about the milk mess, and how John is on his last nerve. John said he was ready to walk. John goes with a big into the diary room, tells him, I'm ready to walk, and shit like that. And he was like, how are you dealing with Stephanie, and shit like that, and Big Brother's saying, we will deal with Stephanie. Really, it was a task, so <laughs> they didn't care either way. Big Brother did not care either way. Daniela hasn't had enough with Stephanie's antics, even though it's still a task. They don't, that, I just love it that the housemates didn't know it was a task at this point. I just love those kind of tasks where they give out a secret task and housemates do whatever they want with it. And by the time that they've been doing it for an hour, Scotty T was proud of what Stephanie did. And John literally checked out in his head. Steph tells Tiffany he, she may be kicked out of the house. J just to like throw pick it pick up this whole attention grabbing attention horror thing. Pick up this whole attention horror thing. John literally bangs on the diary room door again and John is like done. He is not doing any more tasks. Big Brother gathers housemates, but Big John's not gonna gather around the couches. Big Brother lets housemates in on the secret task. Housemates vote for a winner. They vote Stephanie. John is fuming that it was a task. He doesn't care it was a task, but he's fuming that it was just like, this is why Stephanie's doing this shit. And Stephanie won the task, and she chose the prize, her her winning prize, to give to the whole house. John was packing his bags at that time. Darren and Daniela were amazed at, at Stephanie's performance. And John's trying to, wanting to keep it cool and stuff, because he, I think at this point he was just like, oh shit, it was a task. She did this all for a fucking task. And then they give housemates burgers and pints for uh, Stephanie's win, like, for Stephanie completing the task. John doesn't want a hamburger because he thought it was going to be one of those, like, McDonald's Big Macs, but it was actually a gourmet burger. It was one of the best burgers Darren has ever had. I know. This I think this is one of the best tasks ever. The next task was a press conference. Housemates faced their critics. It was presented by Vanessa Feltz, 
Former housemates Louisa Zisman and Megan McKenna are in the press conference audience as long as well as members of the press and some of you some of the viewers of Celebrity Big Brother. John thought it, and they they are there to grill the housemates. John thought it he made the right decision on nominating Darren at the time. Danielle is asked about her two breakouts of the house. Megan asks questions to uh, Sky T. Is, is our relationship considered showman's? He said no, it was real. She asked if he was attracted to Tiffany, and he was just saying it was flirting banter. She was touched about Sky T talking about Megan in the diary room. Lisa asked Tiffany. And um, some questions about her, her her saying how horny she is. And, and Tiffany hopes that they vote, they would vote for her till she's, because she is horny. And she wants to, and she said, I don't care. I just want to be penetrated. <laughs> Megan's de death stares at Tiffany the whole fucking time. Then Stephanie gets grilled. She was about to cry. Stephanie was putting her, finally put herself, herself first. And, um, it was revealed that Sam Reese did cheat on her, bef like, a couple of times, like, several times while she, bef during their tumultuous relationship, which pretty much ended when she was in the house and she met Jeremy. Stephanie does ask Megan at the end of the press conference if Jeremy was waiting for her on the outside, and Megan does answer yes. Darren finds it tough to drink, not to drink alcohol and only... And, like, it's tough for him not to be affected by, uh, not, because he's, like, a sober person now. He's, gr he's grown out of that former, uh, former, uh, man horse shell that he was portrayed as in the UK press. So, um, yeah. Big Brother delivers housemates to uh, housemates. Tiffany is kind of angry and pissed off that Megan... Megan and Sky T saw each other, and Sky T said his piece because she was, and I think Tiffany's just pissed because she's horny and she just wanted to either sleep with Sky T or Darren, but Darren is married, so she can't touch that. John is in the diary room. He knows that being in the house and what he's been doing in the house isn't healthy for him and those around him. Sky T and Tiffany do have a final heart to heart to get things, for things to get better. Big Brother calls finalists to the diary room to talk to Big Brother about their time in the house, and it's like a nice thing. They do bit what before they had the highlights. They did bit on the side in the house, but um, from the YouTube links I did found out, I I couldn't get into like until like yesterday, and um, I was working yesterday till very late, and um, where I was at at my job, I had to take a two hour drive back to my mom's house to home. So Big Brother gives bots panelists a task to keep keep rather than in check when they are in the diary room. They had three um people. Vicky from Jordy Shore, Vanessa Feltz, and Joe Squash. Vanessa Feltz's favorite moment was the Gemma's shoes. The whole situation was Gemma's shoes. Vicky from Jordy Shore's favorite moment was Megan's tantrum against John and Joe Swash's Swash's favorite moment is it's Tiffany, Sky T, and Jeremy kissing each other, the three-way kissing. Sister Patterson couldn't it couldn't make it to the UK, but Sister Patterson is Tiffany's mom. So, um, yeah. There's a whole story. Like, you have to go through Tiffany's history if you're from the UK and you don't... You're just finding out about Tiffany. But, like... And while that happens, housemates do get, like, friends and family to give them pet talks. And messages, messages of hope. Rylan also twerks with Dr. Dance on bit on the side, and Rylan twerking was, like, funny. Rylan gets to go into the garden to meet housemates, and that's how it ends. And then when they do go back to the studio, Gemma... Well, during one of the interviews with Rylan, Gemma said that she is done with the GC uh, alter ego. Some exclusives... So one of the house exclusives, which I thought was funny, 
from Butts from the Studio was literally Stephanie deciding to shave her pubes before the finale. And then here's the finale. So um, we're at the finale, the live finale. Um, there was some Snapchat hacking um, that went into the Big Brother voting system towards Scotty T. Um, the Snapchat hacking has been like review removed, and all those votes from Snapchat have been disqualified. And they had they had their Channel Five and Endem all had their own auditors and and hack and their own like web security people like get in like look through these uh, votes and see which ones were from Snapchat and which ones weren't. The final task was a quiz about their time in the house. Housemates win a final feast just to participate. Tiffany was angry at Scotty T about what he said in the diary room, what they showed in the quiz. Of course, they get along. Finally, they do finally, like, they do calm down by the time it was the dinner. And they go around the table and talk about how they proud they are of each other. Okay, six. Okay, now then we go through all, like, down the list of who, who comes out and, like, all the way from six to first. Sixth place was John. He literally, like, put, like, a fake mustache on be because he was happy to be a house villain in this series. He learned to be more empathetic to future housemates when he goes back onto bots as a panelist in the future. John, because John Partridge is, like, usually a typical fixture in the bit on the side, uh, panelist phase, John thought it would be safer for him to go in the box in the beginning than, at the beginning of the series, then, instead of just being, like, show it, like, try to be, like, fake bubbly and stuff like that, like, his work self. Fifth place was Daniela. According to Daniela, the show was the biggest thing that happened for her, and it changed her life. She found that the hardest housemate to live with, live with was David Guest, just because of all because he was pretty unpredictable in the beginning until he had a until he got sick. Daniela wanted Steph to win as she grew and came full circle with herself. Nobody knew how horrible the relationship between Sam Reese and Stephanie was until after Jeremy's eviction and like until like the press conference. And she and Steph did truly fall in love with Jeremy. Fourth place was Tiffany. She felt that she was going to be going in fourth place. She felt like a fish out of water in the beginning because she, because she thought she was going to go in there, create drama, and like be the HBIC and do HBIC shit. But she, we, but we found a really softer side to Tiffany. She switched her game plan to survive, and yeah, that's how she got to the final. And Emma did tell St Tiffany that she was one of the most in uninhibited housemates they've ever had. Because she was just like, because she kept saying she was horny and shit like that, of course. Third place was Darren. He expected to be out, like, like the first couple of housemates to be out, to be evicted, John wouldn't look at the screens at, at first when they were talking about John in the interviews. Especially about that nomination that that nomination that rocked the relationship between him and between Darren and John. Second place was Stephanie. Stephanie had a wedgie. <laughs> that was funny. She was like, I have a wedgie. She kept saying that. She walked out wearing the locket that Jeremy gave her, so She's still in love with Jeremy. Uh, she did come full circle, I think. She kind of grew up a little bit. Stephanie said that Jeremy is the best thing that happened to her. For her. She did say, like, that relationship was, like, not going off, going well with Sam. She, we didn't know about how bad the story was until later in the series. And she finally, she was like, she got to be honest to herself, and she realized she was falling in love with Jeremy. And of course, she could have said, I'm taken, but at the same time, Sam Reese did cheat on Stephanie before uh, she entered the house, according to Stephanie. Our winner of the series is Scott E.T. 
He was only up for eviction once, and he only got two nominations the whole series. Most of the arguments were ridiculous to him, and he's going straight back to Geordie Shore, like, tonight. Like, like right now, he's probably feeling Geordie Shore. And now we know the rule to UK competition shows vote to win competition shows, which is pretty much if somebody from Geordie Shore enters either Celebrity Big Brother or uh, I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of There UK version, UK edition, which they call the jungle in the UK. Somebody from Geordie Shore will win if you put them in the show. That is prob that is like the that is the equation at this point. So yeah, we have a second Geordie Shore winner. The first one was Charlotte, and she was funny. I loved Charlotte's win because she was just like pissing herself on the bed and shit like that. I was watching like past series like clips before I was getting to get myself amped up for this series. So I was doing my research of past series for you guys. Ryland predicted Scotty T to win, and Emma predicted Darren or Scotty T to win. Scotty T might put Megan in a wheelbarrow. He, like, Scotty T said that the first woman that he would have sex with, he would, that would put her in a wheelbarrow, pretty much. And his choice was Megan to put in a wheelbarrow after sex. But first, he really wants to see his mom before he goes back to filming Georgie Shore the next day, so. Yeah. He will probably won't have sex until, with, with Megan until after they film Geordie Shore, and I don't think he'll have sex during Geordie Shore, so. That is it for now. That's it for the series. Um, please wait for a comeback video coming up in the summer. I might be going to Japan pretty soon, so you might get to see me do a couple of vlogs while I'm in Japan. So, um... And also my schedule between for this upcoming summer series and um, my work, my new job work schedule is going to be kind of really difficult, but I will try to be on YouTube as much as possible for you guys, for you to watch, for me to talk about the whole Celebrity Big Brother and Big Brother UK this summer. And I hear, I read in the press that apparently uh, they're going to build a brand new house that's going to be next to the original, the current house. The original house was put out, was out in the farming field, so. But um, next to the current house in Alice Street Studios, they're planning on building a bigger house so that they can do, so that they can actually, actually do proper tasks and stuff like that. So, that is it for now for the series. I am so glad that you guys have decided to watch throughout the whole series, the past whole 32 days. Um, and 24 hours ago, Scotty T was the winner of Celebrity Big Brother this series. For now, I've been Leo currently. See ya!